If your past is limited, your future is boundless. While men inhabiting different parts of this vast continent cannot be expected to hold the same opinions, they can unite in a common objective and sustain common principles. It must be felt that there is no national security but in the nation's humble, acknowledged dependence upon God and His overruling providence. You have summoned me in my weakness. You must sustain me in your strength. I never justify, sustain, or in any way or to any extent uphold this cruel, heartless, aimless unnecessary war. Frequently the more trifling the subject, the more animated and protracted the discussion. I can express no better hope for my country than that the kind providence which smiled upon our fathers may enable their children to preserve the blessings they have inherited. I cannot find any authority in the Constitution for public charity. Of all knaves the religious knave is the worst. In a body where there are more than 100 talking lawyers, you can make no calculation upon the termination of any debate. The dangers of a concentration of all power in the general government of a confederacy so vast, as ours are too obvious to be disregarded. The founders of the republic dealt with things as they were presented to them, in a spirit of self-sacrificing patriotism and as time has proved with a comprehensive wisdom which it will always be safe for us to consult. With the Union my best and dearest earthly hopes are entwined. A republic without parties is a complete anomaly. The histories of all popular governments show absurd is the idea of their attempting to exist without parties. The revenue of the country, levied almost insensibly to the taxpayer, goes on from year to year, increasing beyond either the interests or the prospective wants of the government. 